Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a settlement earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Jair's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagal, the great boy. No realms yet, only primordial forces. 
There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man, and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. In the earth's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. He called himself All-Father as if he was the creator and not the creator-destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. In the Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think it best we just end it there, actually. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. You ready? Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. known I was a god in Elfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, 
Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. That easy. No. It's kind of hoping though. So what now? What of these? Thought is faster than wit. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. You know, for someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, rather a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. <clears throat> when you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of my own back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you.
Move it or you may lose it, brother. Some friendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for farming. No. That's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. Go. Bye. Too quiet head. <clears throat> wow. Look at that. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid.
It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash potters. Ha! Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. If it hurts me or not, I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. I thought those saws were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants! Skull and Hati! That's right! The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Huh. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. on your side. Look! There's the wind trap!
Atreus to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Clever. Chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? The middle! something.
have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. A knife? There's no other way! But it saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free! I think we did it! Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. No! Raised protection room. It rubbed off! What should we do? We keep going. There it is! We've got it! Boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now, like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Certain. I got it. Trust me. Good then. Aim for the face.
She was big. But no match for us gods. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? We're so close to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Go see the giants. Aye. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on.
I'm gonna tell Sindri I'm a girl. I'd like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long. But now you will keep our secret. Hmm. Huh. I still can't read these. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same, lad. Don't fret. Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Uh, uh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... Alright. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. I can't guarantee you'll like my work today. Oh, did you want to say something? to let me help him. Swell.
What shall it be? Oh, I'm glad I'm still useful to you. Don't need me anymore, huh? Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. carry her up from here. No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I question that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. Yeah! <laughs> 
long as we're gods. Why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there or whatever? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes uh, are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. Suppose that's Odin's doing too. Nice try. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tia wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. He's dead. They're no better than us. And they're going to be sorry they picked this fight. Like he did more than that. Move it, or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No, he is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. Wishes. You lost control. 
Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I've been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. about you, boy. If Modi found us, Balder cannot be far. Good. I have a few words for him, too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he'd do the same to us. I will do only what is necessary. And I'll help. No.
Oh yeah, this room. But we need a new way up. Are you talking to me? Thought you didn't like my tongue. Whatever. if you won't teach me. You do not heed my lessons. I've done everything you asked. And all I wanted was the truth. Where did you get your fire pits? Why did you hide them? You said there are consequences to killing a god. You used the blades to kill one. Who else did you kill? Before Magma. How many? Do you hear me? I heard you. And these are not subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. Amir, guess what? I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah, uh, congratulations.
Others be warned. The tunnels I'm seeing in the walls up here show signs of recent dragon activity. We already killed that dragon. Oh, did you then? Well, how'd that go? What does this say? It says, don't wake him. Whatever. We've killed everything else in this mountain. Who else wants a taste?
Boy, over here.
Guess I'll stop what I'm busy with now. Can't guarantee you'll like my work today. Oh, did you want to say something? No? What did we miss?
Come on, you two. The silence is getting unnerving. Don't worry about it. We're focusing. Nearly there now. Finally. Boy, the room. Carve along that. 